Hello everyone, it's Irene underscore Jep and my good people welcome back to our channel. Here we do reaction and vlog. So kindly uh, support us by watching both videos. In today's uh, video or in today's reaction we are going to talk about so many things. And I don't know if I should give you an highlight but you know about the GoFundMe Kibe, D Mwango, you know, uh, someone has come out to criticize uh, D for talking about uh, the receipt. Like, you see, when she bought that gift for Maro and then she talked about the receipt, like it's a problem to someone. Oh my God. You see, this world is really funny. So let's jump into our reaction video and kindly consider watching the video from the beginning to the end. a quick reminder guys recently the travel commando had a live stream and that was about or the live stream was titled someone just won a trip to south africa so guys it's going to happen i know marwa's audience you are the best of the best so the travel commando will be having a live stream on sunday towards the contribution of this one lady Lydia to travel to South Africa. How Lydia won uh, this chance to travel to her dream destination which is South Africa. Actually Mara was just like people were just writing their dream destination and then screenshots it. Draw one, draw two. That's how Lydia uh, got a chance to actually win a trip to her dream destination which actually should be happening between i don't may uh, between april and may there i believe so and that is courtesy of uh, the travel commando and the audience and the reason as to why uh, marwa did this it's because now he has been traveling all over the world you know and now this time is like no i shouldn't be the only one traveling at least even uh, the audience who have been supporting him should be part of this and experience this instead of traveling on camera let them also uh, board a plane and straight to their dream destination and a draw was done the game was fair square and so many people participated and it happened that this one lady Lydia won. So on Sunday the Travel Commando will be having a live stream towards the contribution of uh, Lydia's everything to do with uh, her traveling to South Africa, a dream destination. And I think uh, he said that he will be doing this like after a while so that everyone can have the experience so guys uh yesterday also okay before before i talk about yesterday um it is really unfortunate that uh this lazy gang member is coming out to say that oh marwa told you that is he will be traveling this week or at the course of this week and now he's asking for a go fund me towards uh taking this uh subscriber of east to south africa and that shows that he wants to get this money in order to cut up for his travel expenses and that of Rocio, which is a total lie, a total lie, because like, how can Mara like contribute for himself? He would have been truthful and sincere to the audience and said, hey, my people, I don't have these and these and this, or I'm short of funds in this and this because, or because of this, but he can never corner corner and be like, we are contributing for an audience or we are contributing for a subscriber to travel to our or his dream destination and then at the end of the day take the money no he never does anything like that he would have been sincere so instead of 
passing out the wrong information that Mara wants uh, this go fund me. Of course, even uh, he has already said uh, you, they are going to do a contribution using a different uh, format. He is not going to use the go fund me again. But you know, it is so sad that someone comes out to say that. Uh, he was planning or he, he was planning to have the go fund me so that he can use it to travel um around kenya first and then to africa in general because this time around he will be traveling around several countries in africa and he will be starting with kenya so as he can actually so show uh, rocio so many parts of kenya and then later on travel to the rest of the countries in Africa, which is a very good idea, a very good idea because uh, most of the time he has been traveling outside Africa, and this is because of only one reason, visas within Africa is really, really hard to get, but outside Africa, it's, it's for some countries or most countries, it is always very easy. So guys, uh, instead of the lazy gang being happy for this particular lady, I'm telling her congratulations, uh, Lydia, for winning a trip to South Africa. In South Africa, there is this, that like advising her to actually visit several places in South Africa. They are there like trying to talk bad about the person that came up with the idea because you know, the person that came up with the idea is literally everything, you know. If he says no, he can't continue with it, then Lydia can never go, you know. And guys, it's always good to support one another in a good way, definitely. So for me, I am into this and for real, I will also contribute on Sunday. I will be part of the people who will be contributing for this uh, particular lady. You know, the travel commando supported us and we are where we are because of him. If it wasn't for him, we would never be here. And guys, I will add all offsprings of I am Mara. Let's gather in his live stream and contribute uh, towards Lydia. You know, she will be traveling to a dream destination, courtesy of a very fair game that was played in the previous uh, live stream of I Am Mara. So now let's go to yesterday's video, and that was goodbye from Nyabo Anse, or is it a very sad goodbye from Nyabo Anse, something like that. And the video was all about Kibe, Dr. Kibe, why not Kibe? I mean, I just love this guy. He has been patiently uh, staying there, having good relationship with everybody, respecting everybody there. And now he is actually leaving the villa in a very, very good, like how do I put it? In Swahili, we will normally say um, to an ondoka ko uzuri. And how do I translate that in English? Like you can imagine even Mara um, filming a video about a very sad uh, goodbye from Nyabo Anse. So you see, it means that they have been staying in a very, very, or uh, in a very, very good uh, relationship. Or him and Kibe and everyone, they have been in a very good uh, relationship. And when I talk about relationship, it's friendship, basically, because if they were not in good terms, good terms is the word that I was looking for. Him and Kibe, they have always, and also the rest of the people, they have always been in good terms. If they were, not, if they could not have been in good terms, actually, Mara will not have created a video about uh, Kibe leaving. And I think even Kibe wanted to leave, and then before now and he became sick he had to stay a little bit longer and now when he got better he left to start his mission and the mission is all about helping the less privileged in the society to provide free medical services and that is testing and just providing medicines but of course he can't do anything as uh, for some we love to refer them to hospital which is a very good uh, 
course or it's a very very awesome humanitarian course and I want to wish him all the best and I am so happy that the travel commando also wished him the very very best because now he was like you are going to do this charity thing from uh, today up to the next one year and then after that I see you being this big traveler with your Tekken 250 with your Antarctica you know Antarctica is the name of uh, Dr. Kibes I don't know why he didn't call himself Dr. Kibe I think Dr. Kibe is the best um, channel name or would have been the best name for him Dr. Kibe and then anyway why not Kibe is, no, is also not a bad name so my good people let's wish him all the very 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 best you know guys uh, someone came out and that is now according to Rocio's video uh, this person wants to buy Rocio a new motorbike and you never know his or her intentions you know but again you see this lazy gang is coming out here trying to warn this particular person that uh, wants to donate or to support uh, Rocio by buying her a motorbike you never know her intentions maybe maybe he or she wants Rocio to have this motorbike so that at least Marwa and Rocio can be traveling together and then make this bonding be really close but you see someone was decided to like want Rocio and Marwa to be traveling together to be going to places together like this type of people want Marwa and Rocio to be really close and they don't want any uh, distractions that comes uh, between them. I'm not trying to say that Agitiriba uh, is a distraction but I'm just overthinking guys i'm just overthinking because by the time someone says that i want to buy you a motorbike rocio so that um you can be uh traveling together with mara wherever you will be going then it shows they have good intentions uh to their relationship so this person thought so much about Marwa's and Rocio's relationship not even any other thing and that is why he wants them to be or she wants them to be this intact hey this lazy gang uh, lady she is really just jealous of rocio just because she has been bought a motorbike or she wants to be bought a motorbike you know when someone buys you a motorbike it means that they want you to be e at least independent you know because you know when you depend on someone I'm not saying that it's bad to depend on someone but again you don't have that freedom like of going anywhere wherever you want like when you want to go somewhere you'll have to call the person that is actually carrying you and by this subscriber supporting Rocio with a motorbike it doesn't mean that she cannot buy herself you know it's this subscriber who wants the best out of their relationship the freedom the independence and everything this subscriber doesn't have any bad intentions and i wonder why you are just there trying to criticize uh, the person or discourage the person to keep his or her money blah 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 and then again going on the other side of Rocio and trying to talk ill about her that uh, she is not independent, she is not buying anything like like do you wish to be in that position because that's what I see when I listen to this uh, lazy gang member for real that's what i see she is jealous she wishes she was in rocio's shoe she wish she wishes uh, that she could have been or she will be the queen or i don't know the queen of villa medellin that's what uh that's what i see in this lazy gang uh, lady so guys uh you know at the same time she's like um which kind of a lady comes to visit uh the boyfriend and then never leaves you know it's good for people to stay together so that they can know one another well because when you are far you know the disadvantages of a long distance relationship like just talking on the phone you don't know one another and all that you know it's not good but for someone who is really really ready to marry like i am Mara, it's always good to be with a partner together all the time and i'm so happy that at least it's been almost four months uh together with him and uh, rocio being together 
or it's been already four months uh, when it comes to Mara be, being with uh, Rocio together and they're also going to travel like all of this year together and for us it is just to pray for them and wish them all the very 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 best and leave alone this lazy gang member they just wish uh, they were in Rocio's shoe receiving all those gifts uh, being taken care of like so so well and everything to do with that and I remember even something that uh, this lazy gang member was saying that uh, East Africans we are in inferior like we worship uh, white people and I was like oh my god what made even her think about that if it's not jealous you know by someone dating a white person it doesn't mean that uh, they are inferior or the East Africans we are inferior no even the person that is uh, calling us inferior the East Africans but basically uh, who he was actually referring to Marwa and VDJ Jonah like they're inferior for uh, getting uh, or dating these white girls now raw and the other lady but guys you know what the same same person who is calling other people inferior was was married to a white person you see this world like you talk bad about something and you are also part of it like it doesn't make sense so sometimes we need to think twice before talking about something before talking about anything or before talking about anybody you know it's always good to think critically unless if you are talking good about someone because you know when you talk good about someone it never has any negative imp impact but when you talk uh, bad about somebody <laughs> and also you you were once married by a white person you know it means that you are also inferior you know but in this case for this person it's just jealous that is what i can see and guys uh this issue between sir edward and fellow the boy it has never ended because at, at this point uh sir edward has decided to seek the help of the lazy gang member and you know this is going even to make the matters worse like worse 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 and i don't want to say how and why but for me i won't comment on this i don't even want to talk just the same uh, with the ibrahim uncle ibrahim thing or uncle ibra thing <laughs> i don't want to talk about family things you know fellow and the sir edward they are father and son and uh, uncle mo and Ibra and the rest they are also family so me I won't comment about anything but what do you think about uh, this whole issue with fellow and also this other one of Ibra me me I'll just be silent on that guys what do you think about uh, that I issue so guys uh, D Mwango came out and marketed her own uh, masterclass which is a good thing basically because you know now she's a brand and even the brother I am Marwa talked about it you know and Marwa advised Dim Wango to make use of her time you know you know these times they come and they go this time you are the star in the next 10 years another person will be a star and now Dim Wango is trying to maximize that opportunity she is a star right now just like the brother I am Marwa so she is basically trying to market a masterclass in a good way and also believing in herself but unfortunately so this lazy gang member comes out and says that Adi has pride like which pride which pride does Adi have you know Dim Wango is very confident about herself about her content about everything in her so like when she markets uh, something for you she just like the brother very confident about it you know and now it's unfortunate that uh, the negative reactors are really trying to discourage her like okay you are on the ladder climbing up now we are down here waiting for you to watch you come down like who does that who does that you know for me i will just be like sister you are doing well all the very best you know i just want to wish you all the very best in your career right now you know it actually inspires us encourages us and we say a very big thank you for always uh, putting out this particular content of course you together with your brother and other youtubers from nebo ansi 
say, you know, we get inspiration from you, like sincerely speaking. So with Masterclass, just uh, continue going, going, going. It's your time. It's your here. And may God bless you abundantly. And of course, let me remind you also Marwa as a masterclass and you can find this masterclass in the description box of his uh, videos or you in his premieres it will always be posted by uh, the moderators. Kindly support them, Marwa and the sister also. Thank you guys. Okay, Carol, you know, uh, this lady is uh, saying that, you know, there is time for climbing, there is time for coming down, there is time for dry season, there is time for uh, wet season, and all. we understand, we understand, but then don't come out and try to focus on this, we are waiting for your downfall, we are waiting for you to cut, no, or we are waiting for us to meet on the way that point when uh, all of us will be equal no don't be like that when it is someone's time let them shine you know when it's their time let them shine at this point um dimwango is just uh shining like the brother let her shine let her make use of this time you know it's you know it will it will not be forever it, that is uh to be sincere so let her use her time very very well because in the next 10 years it will be somebody else and you know what will you have gained by discouraging her nothing but if you encourage her she will keep creating content so now that she's very confident in this masterclass of hers uh this lady lazy gang is trying to say that like uh it doesn't look genuine because she's really pushing for it no you know if she doesn't push for it then who will push it for her if she doesn't market uh, um, her own masterclass who will market it for her you know she has to do it she's the star you know and she's doing the market you see even Mara always tells people that uh, we have a master class uh, if you want to know about uh, anything to do with YouTube like even if you watch Mara's uh, premium the link will always be posted in his premiers and people will join the master class you know so guys um, if you buy someone a gift and maybe you say how much that gift costed or did cost does it mean that your gift to that person is not genuine i don't believe so so here is the story dimwango bought a very luxurious dining table or dimwango gifted a very luxurious table to Ayamara or Dimwango gifted Ayamara a very luxurious and expensive dining table like the color everything went hand in hand with the theme of the house and you know of course Mara was extremely happy given the fact that that particular day where they were having that celebration, they had traveled to Migori to buy a dining table, but they didn't find. And later on, when they actually saw it with Dim Wango, she was gifting them. They were like, oh, so God had a reason for, like, why they didn't have find a good dining table and guys you know god works in a very miraculous way of course so the fact that d mongo mentioned uh the cost of the dining table the lazy gang this lazy gang lady is saying that uh that was not genuine like how 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 you know even some people can still buy you gifts silently and it's not genuine <laughs> so you should not judge anyone just because they mentioned uh, the cost of the dining table or pulling out the receipt it doesn't mean that it was not genuine in any way it does not there is no even relationship between pulling out receipts and genuineness you know for me i believe it was important for her to say the cost of the item or the product because now for someone who wanted to buy and they're in kenya you know they will be able 
to know the price already even before buying and they will be able to even plan and save you know so it's a good thing to only see the price of something especially when you're talking to your audience or when you are telling your audience about this gift and blah 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 because now if you keep quiet how will you have uh, what will the audience gain from you apart from seeing your kind gesture and everything of course of course they they must also know about uh, or it's also good for the audience to know the price or the cost of this item so that in the near future when even someone wants to surprise somebody they can be able to know the price of that particular stuff or thing and it will be beneficial from both ends so guys um this lazy gang member is trying to say that uh, when Dimonga was gifting the brother this particular seat and uh, show like she should not have talked about the receipt, said about the cost and everything like uh, it should have been like an offering uh, like. You see, when you're going to give out uh, your offering in church, you are normally like this and you just put it. Normally you wouldn't want uh, people to see uh, what you're giving out. But why would she act like that? You know, she does vlogs. She tells the world about his life, his plans and everything. Now when it comes to the gift and the price of the gift, why should she hide it? Is it an illegal thing? It's not. It's just a dining table. And I'm talking about the offering. And you know the funny thing is that um, this lazy gang was still talking about it and then she forgets that she's criticizing D and starts talking about you remember the chairs that I bought and blah 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 and then immediately she remembers that she was just criticizing some uh, D Mwango for actually talking about the cost of uh, this gift that it was given to Mara or about a gift to Mara and then she shuts down after realizing that she was just criticizing uh, Dimango and then starts to talk about the same thing that she did like the same same so it contradicted and she had to cut it out and not talk about it anymore so you see those are the kind of people who are just jealous nothing else jealous 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 so guys I think uh, we, you know as a reactor you're just sitting and talking but as a vlogger you must show a series of so many things about your life. So it's two different things. This lady is a reactor. So she's trying to say that um, with her first YouTube salary, she did something and she never brought it out. Of course, she can't bring it out because the channel is not about her. It's about Dimwango Marwa. Like her channel is not about her it's about other people and that is why she couldn't bring it out i don't know why she never looked at it in that perspective she can't talk about her achievements she can't talk about her life because the channel is not about her her channel is not about her it's about other people you know so guys let's end our video there see you tomorrow with another banger